Hello, I'm Sakib. I'm presenting our paper on Graffiti, a framework and a system to do graph analytics on images and videos by sketching. I'm the co-founder of Terra Labs and Universal Machine, and my co-authors are Faria Haq from Terra Labs and Syed Arifinul Haq from Northeastern University. Let's first talk about a common process of graph analytics. Data scientists are always studying natural or simulated events. And these events are usually captured using different sensors and video or imaging tools. Almost always the raw data needs to go through filtering and parameterization. Then we load the data in our favorite IDs and construct, analyze, or visualize graphs. We also go back and forth between these steps to do any useful inference. Now, let's go back to the beginning of this process. What do these natural events really look like? Let me show some scientific examples. Many biologists study the proximity and activity networks of genetically modified ants. Networks are formed based on the proximity between the ants. Physicists study the synchronous network of fireflies. Measuring the collective pulsating of fireflies help us study dynamical systems and chaos theory. Astrophysicists may use graph analytics to study images like these, which represent galaxy evolution over time. By parameterizing the scene based on brightness and proximity, we can find networks of similar galaxies. Now, if we focus on video and imaging, the data would always need to pass through a computer vision pipeline. We also need to parameterize the scene and its properties to create the networks. In addition, the analyst needs to work in the realm of abstract mental models and switch between the visual and abstract represent representations. They also need to constantly compare and interpret the analytics outputs with actual events data. What if we replaced such a messy process with fluid interactions and direct manipulation using pen touch interfaces and sketching? What if we also introduce the abstract mental models gradually on top of the visual data? Graffiti is a direct manipulation and drawing tool for graph algebra, analytics, and visualization powered by image analysis and computer vision algorithms. Every detected object in the video can be treated as a node in a graph. We can already see that some edges are formed between some ants when we load the video. Now, generally, there are some interesting and useful ways to construct graphs based on visual parameters in a scene. We can form graphs by thresholding the visual variables extracted from every detected uh, object by object category, by proximity between the nodes, by connecting the sides that objects traverse, and by changing the time window for edge construction in videos. Here, we demonstrate a graph construction using proximity of nodes and temporal accumulation of edges. Using a graph construction menu, we can adjust parameters like proximity radius and time window to construct the desired graph between different ants. Any node edge or graph at any frame can be used for analytics using direct manipulation techniques. For example, using the function lasso brush, we can select any portion of the graph and apply graph analytics functions on that portion. For example, here we want to sort the ants by their degree in the network. We can drag any detected node or graph into the function as an argument. This allows us to construct functions visually. We can evaluate the function and then the same ants will continue to be leveled with the output of the function, even after that particular frame. In Graffiti, we have implemented graph algorithms to explore any graph in four layers of network representations.
Simply shell complex and hypergraphs reveal higher level structures in a graph. Overall, a user can explore the visual and abstract representations in progressive layers of abstraction in this manner. In graffiti, we can use direct manipulation and drawing to manipulate and analyze graphs. For example, we can draw nodes and edges to create graphs. And we can combine or edit existing graphs using direct manipulation too. We can also apply any graph or network analytics functions on these graphs. All elements in graffiti are usable as other functions arguments. In the paper, we describe five types of reusable elements in graffiti. We also describe how only using uh, five reusable elements are adequate to cover a wide range of functions typically used in graph analytics. Next, let's look at how we can study fireflies and galaxy networks as we have shown them previously. We can detect the fireflies in the video by defining the proximity color and blob size thresholds. Since the woman and the lamp are not part of the desired network, we can use an ignore lasso to crop them out of the network. Now comparing the two different frames or networks from two different frames show us that precinct networks are more sparse. In this cosmology example, we use community detection to find clusters of similar galaxies. We also use the shortest path function to find out a minimal distance between early and late galaxies. In the paper, we discuss the current design space of graph analytics tools and why graffiti falls in the unexplored region of algebraic and visual tools. The paper also describes many other examples that clarify this framing. More details can be found in the paper. For comments and feedback, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.